right guys, on this example, we are dealing with an advanced type of algebra problem. So let's go ahead and read it and talk about how we're going to set this up. It says a new temperature scale T is designed so that zero degree T is equal to negative 16 degree Fahrenheit. It says every increase of 10 degree on the T scale is equal to four degree increase on the Fahrenheit scale. It says what is the temperature on the T scale if the Fahrenheit scale is reading 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so the first step in this problem is to recognize that you are dealing with a linear relationship here. Okay, so for example, we can see at zero degrees T, right, that's going to be equal to negative 16 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, and then it increases, right, so for every increase of 10 degree on the T scale, that's going to be equal to a four degree increase on the Fahrenheit scale, right? So we could essentially graph this relationship on a grid and it would be a linear function. Again, this is a linear relationship, all right? So that is what you have to take away here in order to figure out the direction of this problem. So if I were to create a grid here on the right, right, we can go ahead and graph this first point that they give us. They say the following, right? Zero degree T is equal to negative 16 degree Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and label our axes here. So my X axis, right? We'll say that that is going to be degree T. And my Y axis, we'll say is degree Fahrenheit, okay? So knowing that, let's graph this first point, right? So zero degree T is equal to negative 16 degree Fahrenheit. That means, right, I would have a point somewhere here, and this would be zero, negative 16, okay? And we can actually go a step further and find another point because they give us more information here. It says every increase of 10 degree on the T scale is equal to four degree increase on the Fahrenheit scale. So starting with this baseline point, if I add 10 degrees on the T scale, right, so now this becomes 10, I would have to add four, okay, to the Fahrenheit. Okay, so in, for example, this is gonna be the following now, right, so we'd have another point, and this would be 10, comma, and then again, we're adding four to the Fahrenheit, this is gonna be negative 12. So you can see here, right, that if we were to connect these points, we would have a linear function, right? So let's go ahead and just connect this point. We'd have something like this, okay? So the goal of this problem is to find the equation of this line, because once you have the equation of that line, you can plug this information in and solve for your degree T, right? So let's think about what we need to do first. So if we want to find the equation of this line, we're given two points on the line, our first step is to find the slope, right? And we know the slope is the following, right? Slope is going to be equal to, so we'll write it right here, y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, okay? So it may be useful to kind of take your points Let's write them right here. We have 10, negative 12. And again, it doesn't matter which one you call x1, y1, x2, y2, as long as you stay consistent, meaning you're keeping the ones and twos together. So we'll go ahead and call this one x1, y1. So this will be x1, y1. Okay. And then we have our second point, which is zero, negative 16. And we're going to go ahead and call this x2, y2. All right, so x2, y2. All right, so now we need to go ahead, take our values, and plug it into the following equation. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do it right over here to the right. So our slope is going to be equal to y2, which is negative 16 minus our y1, which is going to be negative 12. OK, 
Again, this is going to be over x2, so 0 minus our x1, which is 10. Okay, so essentially what happens here, two negatives make a positive, so you have a negative 4 on the numerator, a negative 10 on the denominator, 4 over 10, so it's not positive, and we can actually go a step further because we reduced it to 2 over 5. So we just found our slope, it's going to be 2 over 5. So let's go ahead and record that information. So the slope here of this line is going to be 2 over 5. Okay, we're now ready to move on to the next step. So let's erase this. Now, since we're dealing with a line, we need to think about slope-intercept form, which again is going to be y equals mx plus b. This is how we're going to derive our equation. Okay. So if you think about it, we have our slope. We have an x, y, right? It's either going to be this one or this one. So what we're going to do is plug those values in and solve for b. And then we're going to rewrite our equation. So again, it doesn't matter which point you pick. You can either pick this one or this one. I suggest picking the one that has a zero because zeros are easy to work with. All right, so I'll go ahead and pick this point. So again, this will be x, y. So wherever I see a y, I'm plugging in negative 16 equal to my slope, which is 2 over 5, times my x, which is going to be 0, and then plus b. So we can see here that negative 16 is equal to b. So again, let's record that. So b is equal to negative 16. So b is equal to negative 16. Okay, so we can go ahead and erase this. We want to put our final equation in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, right? So let's write our final equation right here. Putting it in slope-intercept form, we have y equals m, which is our slope, 2 over 5, x plus b, which is negative 16. Here is our equation that we're going to use now to answer this question, okay? So the last part is saying, what is the temperature on the T-scale if Fahrenheit scale is reading 48 degrees Fahrenheit? So again, we know that Y is representing degrees Fahrenheit, X is representing degrees T, right? So they give you um, your Y here, which is degrees Fahrenheit. So wherever I see a Y, I'm plugging in 48. So I'm going to get the following here. I get 48 equal to 2 over 5. My x, again, that's what we're trying to solve for here, degrees t, right? So we have x minus 16. Okay, so we're ready to solve. We're going to add 16 on both sides. Adding 16 on both sides. We're going to get 64, and this will be equal to 2 over 5x, okay? And what we can do now, all in one step, let's just multiply by the reciprocal here. So 5 over 2, that will get rid of this fraction, right? This all reduces down to 1, that's what we want. So 1x, or just x. And again, multiply by 5 over 2. So essentially what we get here is the following. We're going to get 64 times 5, so 64 times 5, we get 320, and then divided by 2. So what we finally get here is x is equal to 160, and this is degrees t. Okay, and this is going to be your final answer. Okay, and that is it.